Love hurts, love wounds, love scars, and love is in the air for Tony Stark and friends. What'll happen next? Well, let's hop into the pages of Tony Stark Iron Man issue number four and find out for ourselves, shall we? Alrighty then, so as we join the comic, we learn a little bit about the Make a Match app, a brand new dating app that's taking New York by storm. Uh, is this one of those swipe apps or one of those apps where you gotta pay some money before you actually get any use out of it? Not that I would know or anything. The app is a big hit with everyone who works at Stark Industries. In fact, Andy has managed to find love on the app even though he was previously dating Tony's mom and she's not jealous or anything. I mean, he was just too much of a fan of her music and it never would have worked out, right? Right? Why even Rhodey ends up getting sucked in by all these perfect matches? Hey, War Machine, weren't you dating Captain Marvel, wasn't your death the thing that made her go crazy in the first place? Is no one, is no one gonna address this? Now while this is going on, Tony is helping Joe Costa continue her transition into being more human, and to do that he has to read a full printout of all of her mental images. Which is admittedly a pretty personal little process here, which makes Tony himself think about the relationship that he once had with Janet Van Dyne, the woman of whom Jocasta's brain patterns are based on. They had in fact dated once before. For, well, to be fair, Janet had dated Tony without actually knowing he was Iron Man, that's how long ago this was, and Tony begins to wonder why it never worked out between them. And seeing as everyone is pairing up anyway, Tony decides to ask Janet out on a date. Here he actually gets some rather interesting insight. He recently built himself a new body and more or less came back from the dead. Janet compares this to the time she came back from the microverse. And she says that one of the most important things about starting over in your life isn't picking up from where you left off, but not being afraid to push forward, with new relationships being a big factor in that. Now while this romance starts to bloom back at Stark Enterprises, things start to take a turn. You see, those perfect matches were perfect for a reason, and that's because they are literally robo-catfishes. Built by a rogue AI from Banetronics to try and steal as much information about Stark's workforce as humanly possible by making the perfect part partners for those lovesick in need. When Stark's own compromised head of security catches wind of this, a switch is flipped and all of the robots end up turning feral. That means Iron Man and the Wasp are going to have to rush back if they want to save the day. This ultimately proves a good opportunity though for Iron Man to show off his brand new Vespa armor complete with friggin' lightsaber. Normally this is where I'd quote Jay and Silent Bob and say George Lucas gonna sue somebody, but we all know the mouse in Star Wars are tight these days. Iron Man does his best to fight back the robot horde, but there's just so many, and they can shapeshift, and they've stolen a ton of his important information. It seems that the only way he's going to defeat them is if he can somehow overload their hive mind. Luckily, they are, at the end of the day, powered by a dating app, and Tony Stark is probably the most eligible bachelor in the entirety of the Marvel Universe, so he just makes himself a little profile and then crashes the whole thing that way. That's right, everybody. Tony Stark saved the day just by being rich and handsome, and who says those aren't superpowers? And with that, the robot menace is defeated. Everyone in Stark's office learns an important lesson about love and partnership. And wouldn't you just know it, Janet and Tony are gonna stay together for the next little bit see where this chapter of their lives takes them as the comic ends. So that was Iron Man number four, everybody, and overall, I was very pleased with this issue. I had a big, dumb smile on my face from beginning to end. It was action-packed, it was comedic. Dan Slott gets to flex his continuity muscles a little bit by saying, hey, Tony and Janet were already a couple for a little bit, why shouldn't they be a couple again? The overall plot of an evil dating app gone mad to steal people's information feels suitably Black Mirror and just the sort of thing Iron Man should be dealing with. Heck, more than anything, what I'm truly impressed about this issue and indeed this whole series up until now is how all the issues have been one and done, speeding into a much bigger overarching plot. One of the big issues with comics today is compression. How because of the trade market, it feels like writers are purposely trying to stretch out their stories for as long as possible, when here it's shown that you can have a story with a beginning, middle, and end and have it be very satisfying. Overall, I feel comfortable giving this one a 9 out of 10. It was just a feel-good issue from start to finish. Hey there, everyone. Everyone, it's your old pal Cape Joel, and I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video, especially today because I have some really awesome news. I am going to be a guest speaker at the London, Ontario Comic Con, Friday the 26th to Sunday the 28th. This is my first time going as a professional guest as on my own. Really excited about it. More importantly than that, I am going to be hosting not one, 
but two panels tentatively at the show. They are probably going to be Saturday. More information on that is going to be revealed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Jewel for more information on that. Really hope to see you guys show up. Really hope to fill up the panel room because, well, it's my first time trying to fill up a panel room on my own. So, you know, I want to show that I'm good and I'm viable and I'm a good YouTube man who they should invite back for these things. I'm also going to have a table and merch for the first time. So if you want some Cape Jewel merch, come out there and check it out. I will be taking pictures. I will be signing whatever you want me to sign. Just put it just put it in front of me. I'll sign it. Power of Attorney, I'll do that too. Come out to London Comic Con. Check me out. I'm very excited about that. So yeah, that'll do it for me, everyone. Bye-bye.